Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and let's talk about cell phones. Cell phones have become a part of your motorcycle experience, whether it be using it for GPS or dialing in the perfect tune. Most of us do, in fact, use our cell phone in some form or fashion on our motorcycle, and that's where Rockform comes into play. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I have been using Rockform products for a number of years now, specifically for the phone case. And that's kind of what you think of when you think of Rockform, you think of phone cases. So let's start there first. Quite frankly, it's a very, very durable case. That's why I use it on my own phone. See, I'm not even pulling your leg. Rockform case on my phone has been that way for a number of years. And basically there's two styles of phone cases. You have what they call the crystal case, you have what they call the rugged case. There's basically two main differences. The crystal case is gonna have more rounded edges, it's gonna be a little sleeker, a little thinner, and probably fit in your pocket a little better. But the rugged case is gonna be just that. It's gonna be a lot more rugged, a lot more durable, and according to Rockform, be good for dropping your phone up to about six feet, although I don't recommend you do that just to try it out. They really start to set themselves apart in two places beyond just the rugged durability of their case. And that's with this little mount here that snaps into place on a myriad of different mounts, which we'll get into, and with this magnet. I really, really like the magnet in the phone case. It allows me to do things like just slap it on my toolbox and listen to music or just plan on wanna stick the phone somewhere. The magnet for me is very, very useful. But this little mounting system that I have, it's very, very positive locking and allows you to mount your phone a bunch of different places. So from there, let's go on and get into mounting solutions and how you clip these onto your motorcycle. Probably the most common one or the most kind of universal one is the handlebar mount. This will fit just about any type of handlebar you have out there, seven eighths bar, inch bar, inch and an eighth. You can put this mount on it and rotate around. This one is kind of my go-to. It fits on all kinds of bikes, or whether it be a crash bar, whether it be a handlebar, so on and so forth. Cheaper version of that is this little rubber one here, just straps around a bar. It actually has a little release on it to release the phone when you spin it off there. So this is just another handlebar mount, really slick. Harley specific mounts. This one's pretty trick. It's available in chrome and black. This is a perch mount. So on your Harley Davidson, right on the handlebar where the two screws go into the handlebar clamp, this will replace those screws. You can see it's machined out. This is a nice billet piece and it mounts right on there. This is adjustable back and forth so you can get it set just perfectly how you want it. Like I said, these are available in chrome and black. Also, all of these mounts have this little tether that comes with them that easily attaches to the phone case. A lot of times I use this tether as just a little bit of backup, slide it around my handlebar to the phone, put it on the mount. If something were to happen, God forbid, if you fall out on the motorcycle, this is still gonna keep the phone attached, not gonna go flying off somewhere. So I do like the tether also. If you use like a ball type mounting system like this, whether it be RAM mount or something like that, they have a solution for you. You can use your existing RAM mount, your phone will clip right onto this, boom into the ball and socket type mount. There you go, very, very adjustable. Here's the release to get it on and off. This is really trick if you already have a ball and socket style mount for a GPS or something like that on your bike already. If you have a sport bike and there's limited place on the clip-ons to put the mount, something like this drops right into that stem right in front of you, you swing it around and mount it just how you want it. They have different size mounts in there to fit different size stems. But this is a pretty trick little way to mount it if you don't have a lot of room on your handlebars. If you're looking to mount it somewhere else, whether it be your car or on top of a saddlebag or God knows where, I have a couple solutions there for you too. The standard suction style mount right there, or you have these little mounts right here. You can stick it with the 3M tape on the back and then the magnet will hold it wherever you want. Here like this, and you mount it on the flat surface and you're good to go. If you're looking for something a little more low profile, they have little things like this. This magnet with a 3M tape on the back, you can stick it on something wooden. The magnet case will stick right to it. Another little solution, if you're just looking to stick that phone somewhere that's not metal, you wanna take advantage of the magnet on the back of the case, those little low profile mounts are great. A couple other little accessories that I really like. This little ring mount right here. This is kind of a nice little utilitarian piece. It does have a magnet in it, but if you put it in the locking mechanism, you get that little ring, helps you hang onto your phone, but also if you need to prop the phone up, if you're watching one of uh, JMP's tutorial videos in your garage, you can prop it up on your toolbox and uh, see your video very well. This one looks a little funny. It looks like a little duck bill right there. This is actually for your car vent. You can slide this thing right over the vent in your car, use the magnetic part of your phone again. Easy phone mount for your car. Last but not least, 
If you don't have a rock form case, you can actually stick this mount to the back of your phone and it'll work with the rest of the rock form mount. So if you have a phone that is not a Samsung or an iPhone, they still have a solution for you with this little accessory right here. You get the magnet, you get the little locking mechanism and you can use all of these mounts. You're looking to charge it. You say, hey, you know what? I wanna put that on there, but I still wanna wirelessly charge. No problem. This actually locks right into your phone and it'll charge your phone without actually plugging into the bottom of the phone. Another bonus is in the back of it. If you're looking to have your phone mounted to your bike and charge it, there's another little mount on the back. It'll mount to any of these things. You can charge it going down the road, no problem, wirelessly. Also, one more bonus item. Rockform has this Bluetooth speaker. We use it in the shop all the time. The thing is super loud and it's waterproof. It has a 24 hour battery and you can get about 30 feet away from this thing with your Bluetooth device, with your phone, whatever, and it'll still play music. It has not one, but two magnets on the back. And trust me when I say these magnets are ridiculously strong. Also, it has the locking mechanism on the back. If you did want to mount this to something, let's say like a side-by-side -side or something like that, you can clip this right on one of those mounts go down the road and this thing is plenty loud. And like I said, it is waterproof. You can plug an auxiliary cord into this, play music or something else, or you can actually put an SD card that doesn't have music in it as well. So we use this around the shop all the time. Big win, in my opinion, from Rockform. Really like this thing. As always, if you have any questions about phone cases, motorcycles, or anything else, feel free to drop us a comment and go ride those motorcycles.